Hello, YT. Uh, ladies, it's your girl Tiger here. I'm um, coming at y'all today with another vlog because um, I've been in my A for a couple of days um, due to homework assignments and um, working every day. So, yeah. I just finished the PowerPoint presentation for school. And now, um, I'm just unwinding now, relaxing, just chilling right now. Um, y'all, I got this new phone. It's called the Samsung LTE Lite or something like that. I got this when my, <coughs> when my Galaxy S3 vibrated and fell on the floor and cracked. Um, all I gotta say about this phone is that I absolutely hate this phone. The uh, pictures and everything be so dark, um, unless you like outside or something like that, um, and you not you don't have a flash on. Other than that, the pictures be like super dark. And one of the biggest reasons that I buy my phone is for the camera capabilities and camera capabilities on this Samsung LTE sucks so I wouldn't advise anybody to get that phone at all um let me see what else. I had to go to the Dollar Tree to get some stuff for um the holiday um because I had cooked for my my client I had made some, um, I don't know how many y'all cooked today. I had made some, uh, bacon, uh, with cabbage, you know, because I always fry the bacon and cook my cabbage, uh, in the bacon, uh, grease with the bacon and stuff. And then I season it with my garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, seasoned salt. You know what time it is. <laughs> And um, just put just a little bit of water in there and I just keep stirring it and stuff like that. So um, it's cooked, but it's still crunchy a little bit and but it's tender. So if y'all know what that's like. And I made some cornbread. I made um, one of those colorful uh, rotini like pasta salads where, you know, I diced up my eggs, um, took some um, mayonnaise, some sandwich spread, the eggs, some seasonings. Um, some chopped up uh, broccoli uh, florets and I mixed all that with the mayonnaise and all that stuff and a little bit of salt and pepper that was my pasta salad um, I baked some um, chicken wings um, with some sweet baby rays honey um, barbecue sauce, uh, sauce. Um, what else uh, what else did I make the pasta salad, the cornbread, the bacon and the cabbage, the barbecue chicken, and I think that's it. I think that's everything. Yeah, but it was good. And um, <laughs> uh, I only had a little bit of it because I had too much homework to do. So I didn't really get a chance to like pig out like I normally would. And besides that, I am just like larger than life right now as far as um my weight goes y'all um <laughs> i think i'm like two twenty shit i don't know like two twenty four or some shit like that like we can find out together y'all together um, if y'all can see my scale, do y'all see the scale? Okay, so, let me get my scales on it. Um, oh, 227.4. I don't know if y'all saw that, but that's what the scale said. <laughs> And I know I gained some weight, but yeah, so. Uh, 
six months for us. Y'all, I am two twenty seven point four, so I'm like big girl status, y'all see my belly and I got this damn uh waist trainer thing on um, my fat ass belly and um I don't wear it all the time, like I probably should, but I put it on when I think about putting it on, like sometimes, like tonight when I got out the shower, then I put it on. But yeah, I'm 227, which is three, um, like 73 pounds away from being 300 pounds. Damn, it don't seem like it do it though. But yeah, this is. Uh, fudge, y'all. I'm 227. That got a lot to do with schoolwork, uh, <laughs> uh, work, just eating every now and then instead of like I'm supposed to, and all that. So I'm 227, y'all. 227. But I'm 5'9, so my 227 probably don't look like. Everybody's 227 because we all carry our weight in different ways. And also, as y'all can see, my leg is healing pretty good. My camera sucks, but this used to be, I mean, it's a scar there, but the scar is getting lighter. So it's not as bad as it looked before. But yeah, this is 227. So... I don't know. I'm not really uptight about my weight. I just want to like the waist mainly, like get that far to get a little smaller, a little smaller, but you know. And my thighs, they not real, real, real big right now, but they could, I could lose a few pounds around my thighs. It wouldn't like really hurt me or whatever, but yeah, y'all. I just wanted to vlog with y'all about that, my weight and all that stuff. And show y'all what I call myself doing my hair tonight. Um, <laughs> y'all know the front part is like sort of, but I had parted it to a few sections and did a little couple of flat twists right there, right there. Just in odd places. I wasn't like one kind of like right there one right there so y'all need to excuse my room in the background y'all see I got clothes right there because I was washing clothes I didn't finish that one and my vanity is a mess and yeah but other than that all my homework is done and I can make a YouTube video no particular video about anything in particular because this wasn't like you know when I'm planning things like today's video is gonna be about you know it wasn't like that so this is what it is this is what I got so yeah y'all oh and I went to Dollar Street today I thought these were so cute ooh I was in my pink mode and I had got these um pink reading glasses. I think they're cute, y'all. Um, hell, they was only a dollar. And I was just saying to myself, like, wow, you know, I don't have one pair of pink reading glasses. So, maybe I should get a pair of pink reading glasses. And see what it looked like. So, yeah, this is what I came up with, <laughs> y'all. But anyway, and let me see. One of the other reasons I probably gained some weight, I got payday. But I'd be finding that I snack more when I'm trying not to smoke cigarettes because food is love and cigarettes kill stress and everything else. But I tend to snack more. I get to chewing on my nutty candy bars or gum, which I really don't like to chew gum because I have a bad habit of swallowing it. 
but um yeah nuts sunflower seeds stuff like that I try to snack on that drink me some you know water or whatever um if I but today you know today I I drank water and I drank some some grape crush I mean it was the holiday you know what I mean I wanted someone a little kick to it so yeah um everybody been telling me that they like my bag and it's old now but um this is okay my line is because everybody been asking me about this bag I'm like girl I really like your bag is that a um Betsy Johnson and I'm like yeah this is a Betsy Johnson I had got this when I went on my commencement ceremony in Illinois and it's like it's a Betsy Johnson and in front of it got like this cute little bow Betsy Johnson logo here and on the back because it's like backpack strap style and it got like the Betsy Johnson logo like on the straps of the bag and it's like a soft leather um textured bag with like hearts and everything and yeah I really like that bag <laughs> and I still I'm still rocking my twelve dollar Walmart wallet that I had got from Walmart and it's pretty you know pretty cool it holds a lot of cards and stuff like that but I ain't really been doing no shopping lately, y'all, to do no hauls. And um, one of the things I had got last time I went shopping was this. I went to the secondhand store and I got this little little drawer that got these little teddy bears on top. We got like the father, the mother, and the baby teddy bear. And I paid like two dollars for it, and we got like two little drawers so cute you know like I like the older antique stuff so yeah I'm probably gonna have to go back to that thrift store and see what else they have um, because I like that kind of stuff and then and when I went to Walmart I had got this prayer book power prayers for women by Jackie Johnson and I don't know if any of y'all ever um, got one of these power prayer books you can get them from like Walmart. Mine was at Walmart near the automotive section for some reason on like this little shelf with certain books by particular authors like Jesse M. Johnson. And it has this book got a lot of prayers in it. Um prayers for my emotions, prayers for marriage, for my health, um, fears, work. Let's see what it got to say about work because I've been having issues at work. You know, it's just really hard to deal with. Um, and it says my work. I'm just going to read a couple of little paragraphs in this book so y'all can see what kind of um, things it has to say about that. It says... Um, Oh, my sinus is hacking up, y'all. I'm sorry. It says, there's no single face of today's working woman. Lori homeschools most of her seven children. Cindy is a stay-at-home mom who telecommutes part-time to her downtown office, while Nancy travels to a different city most weeks for her corporate job. Judy, a single woman, works as a hospital chaplain, and Anne quit her job a year ago to care for her 82-year-old father. Okay. Um, I guess it goes into different like scenarios and stuff like that or whatever, but I'm not trying to read all those scenarios. I was looking for the prayer. Okay, so I finally got to the prayer, which is on the second page, and it says, Lord, I praise you and thank you for my work. You are full of goodness and grace. My occupation gives me the ability to shape lives and influence people in positive ways every day. Whether it's taking time for teachable moments with my children or being a listening ear for a co-worker. Thank you for my job and the ability to be a missionary wherever my feet tread. 
season my words so that others may taste and see that my Lord is good. That's all right. And then there's another one here that says, God's will for my work life. Lord, I need wisdom and guidance in my work life. Please show me if this is the vo vocation I should be in right now or if I should change and find another job. I want to use my skills and abilities as well as my interests for your glory. When I feel underutilized and yearn for something more, reveal to me where I can best serve in the coming season of my life. Whew. I'm waiting for the Lord to reveal to me in my life um, where I'm supposed to be working at because mm, mm, mm. It says Lord I want to be a woman of influence I know that it's not about power or making myself look better it's about giving to and assisting others help me to be a witness to your good things in my life teach me how to make a difference in my workplace each day even with a kind word or a smile to someone who needs it. Provide opportunities to share your love and help me know your help me know just what to say when the time comes. And you know, it's all kind of prayers in here, prayers for criticism, prayers um for like reducing stress. Uh, this one right here for reducing stress. I got water in my ears, y'all, I'm sorry. It says, Lord, I have so much to do. Mm. It sounds like they wrote this one just for me. Just from the first line. <laughs> Lord, I have so much to do. Please help me. Deadlines and details swirl around me like a swarm of bees. I feel intense pressure with my heavy workload. Help me to do what needs to be done each day so I can stop worrying and rest well at night. I give you... I give you my anxiety and my stress. I release it all to you, Lord. As your peace covers me, the peace that passes all understanding, may it guard, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. I rest in the comfort of your love. I like that, y'all. But <laughs> like I said, it's a lot of prayers in this book. And um, this prayer book was only $2.99. $2.99 and I got at Walmart and it's present here for emotions, home, fears, work, finances, church, nation, and much more. Um, and, you know, when I'm feeling down because, you know, I, I, I've been going through a lot and stuff like that. I like the things like my prayer books and stuff like that to help encourage me to help keep me stay encouraged and, and give me the strength to continue to do and focus on what it is I'm trying to do in my life and right now I'm trying to attain my master's degree um, and I'm about to have my bachelor's degree June 8th which is in a couple of weeks and I'm so excited and um, thankful that the Lord bless me with the um, self-motivation um, to stay self-motivated to continue with my degree classes and my job and succeed and still um, do it with a 3.40 GPA regardless of all the stuff that I've been going through that had you know that was making it difficult for me to do it but um through prayer and you know ambition and um stand encouraged i was able to do them four years so i know it's possible you know for anybody you know to do it if do whatever it is you want to do if you want it bad enough and that's something that i really wanted i wanted my bachelor's degree i wanted to stop struggling and I wanted to make myself an example to my children you know on what they have to do to attain their goals and you know I just hope that you know all my hard work will show it'll all pay off 
But anyway, y'all, I'm finna go. And I just want to say hello to everybody. And I know this was like a long hello, but hey. <laughs> Alright, y'all. And oh my God, Shook Pals for fashion. Girl, love you. Bye.